episode of Articulate Thoughts for the year 2016. It's winter time and it can be awfully frightening, but I'm prepared. I got a toque and a scarf, which gives me plus seven armor. Good stuff. I also have my friend Spike here. It's a great reminder to take it nice and easy and slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, I'm just um, chilling out here, taking it easy, and uh, just being a little bit of a goofball for the final episode here. And um, it's actually a little warm in uh, this room, so I'm just going to take this winter stuff off. But um, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode, and uh, it's been a really awesome year, and I just want to review some of the major key points. There's been a lot of things happening, and uh, release a lot of like really small like precious intricate intimate moments but a lot of like really cool big aha moments as well so um i just want to go in chronological order and just like point out uh the major things that have happened the big big major things that happened to me this year so um i would say the first the first big thing that happened was um going to vancouver for a dance workshop in february so uh, moved to Calgary in December of 2015, and then I was just kind of uh, dibbling and dabbling into this whole Five Rhythms dance um, school of thought, and um, was offered to go to uh, a workshop. The so instructor in Calgary was joining forces with an uh, instructor in Vancouver, and they were going to um, do a, a workshop in uh, February so I decided yeah I'll just go check this out I haven't been to Vancouver before and let's just ride the momentum from November and just you know in November I was driven driving from Ontario to Alberta and it was a really cool experience just to see all the main cities in Canada and just kind of checking them out for a little bit and Vancouver is like a big one everyone's like telling me like how great Vancouver is I've never been there before so why not hit two birds with one stone um Sorry to all like the vegans and animal lovers out there. I hope you won't get offended from this. Um, but even if you do, that's your problem anyways. Um, but anyways, um, I went to that workshop and it was a really, really great experience for me. Um, they have a really tight-knit community there and I ended up staying with um, uh, an individual that was part of the dance community in Vancouver. And it was just, the whole trip to Vancouver was just manifestation of all these different desires that I put out there. And... Um, just kind of it all kind of came back to me and converged in this one experience and it was really really cool and um, you know it was a really great experience the first time doing like a weekend function with a, a, like a spiritual dance group type of situation um, and a lot of really cool people from um, all over British Columbia and some people were from the States and Calgary and so it was a very nice group of people and I got a better idea what the five rhythms uh, dance system is about and uh, when I went back, I, you know, just had a decision, made that decision that I was going to devote a little bit more time and effort into uh, showing up to the dance classes every Tuesday and be part of the community in some way, shape, or form. So that was really incredible for me. And um, and then in March, it kind of hit like a little bit of a stump, and um, it kind of lasted for a couple months. But at the time, I wasn't really able to identify what it was. But in hindsight, I would say um, it was me kind of... Um, I, I really attached my like emotional aspect to um, Conor McGregor, who's like this really big uh, UFC mixed martial arts fighter. And um, in December, he got his first uh, opportunity to become a, a champion in the UFC. And he rose up to the occasion and he knocked out his opponent in like 13 seconds. And like it was just a really big, phenomenal uh, performance. And uh, leading into the fight, there was a lot of interview, a lot of media and press done. And uh, the stuff he was saying in his interviews was just really mind-blowing and very, you know, just like very sincere and very honest and very upfront. And um, a lot of the things he said like resonated with me and just really motivated me and inspired me to really, you know, adopt that warrior mentality and just kind of uh, face the challenges of my life head on. And um, in March, uh, so in December, he won the championship and he had all this momentum going for him. Uh, similar for me, like going, uh, moving to Calgary and having all this momentum, and then in March he uh, lost a fight in in devastating fashion. Um, actually, not really. He he did really well in the first round, but in in the second round, he just um, 
lost his wind and um, just started falling apart and the wheels came off and he ended up getting um, outboxed and then got choked out on the ground and then it was just um, you know it, it was just like you know he, he lost all this like stardom and all this momentum that he had going for him and I think I kind of adopted that energy because I was just so emotionally invested in what was going on with him and then so I think that's like a very interesting thing that, that kind of came about but in uh, May, there was another uh, dance workshop with the same two instructors from the workshop in February. And that workshop took place in Calgary. So um, I went to that and it was a really, really great experience as well. And then after that, I was um, I pursued an opportunity to volunteer for the dance group in Calgary. So um, that allowed me to lock in a commitment uh, every Tuesday to be there and to contribute to the community which was really, really exciting. And I got the opportunity to um, build some connections and just kind of be part of the scene. And um, that was, and that's a kind of like a really steady stronghold for me. And uh, one of the reasons why I do want to stay in Calgary for the, the next few years. Um, so that was in May. And then in July, uh, I, I traveled back to Toronto. So it was my first time flying from Calgary to Toronto. And it was um, a really, really, uh, the whole experience of me going back home and being welcomed by all the family and friends and just um, sharing what I had gone through was really, really cool. Um, I also went to a, an Eclipse Music Festival an Eclipse music festival uh, with a really, really good friend of mine and mm -hmm. it was uh, really eye-opening in, in a lot of different ways. Um, just like the whole festival culture is, is, is very interesting to me. It's just the amount of time and effort and energy is put into building these small communities for five days and then just being immersed in, in music and Eclipse in particular is, you know, very appealing to me because it, it's um, side trance music and there's a lot of uh, psychedelic art and it, it's much more focused on like art in general and it's, it takes place in this um, remote location in Quebec and it's a very, very beautiful spot. There's a lot of trees, a lot of sky, a, like a lot of space and um, there's a lake, and it's just a, a really beautiful spot, and a lot of very beautiful people. And it's also really to, to grab a glimpse of um, Montreal and like the Quebec, the Quebec culture of Canada. And um, at this particular festival, I was able to sit down on those uh, two guys that were camped out beside our camp, and I sat down and chilled with them and, t and chat with them, and and really got a really cool connection of like Montreal lifestyle and like the kind of people that live there. And, um, was able to like dream build a little bit with them and it was, it was really cool and then um, coming back to Calgary I was just like you know like as great as it in Toronto and all my family and friends are there like Calgary's where I want to be right now I'm really excited to be part of this dance community and have this like momentum going forward with that so and then um, later on in the year in October I uh, switched jobs and I got into a position where I felt like it was more um, catering to my style of serving and um, just being part of a great organization that's uh, has really, really, like, really implements like strong values of what I believe like should be given in in the in the service industry. It's a great organization that's very communal, and all the managers were really great, and all the people I work with are really great, and I'm just really happy with my working situation, mm -hmm. and just kind of like looking forward to see how it develops and like how it could get better in that. And then in December, I got a new car. I started driving manual transmission and just like um, reintegrating myself with the mentality of being teachable and learning new things and um, not being afraid to, you know, just go out there and try new things, even though I'm not too experienced with it. But it's okay to just kind of fail and mess around and it takes time to learn things and just take things nice and easy, slow and steady wins the race type of thing. And then um, all that momentum's kind of been building, and it's just, uh, man, it's just really, really exciting for me in a lot of different ways, and just all these different desires are converging and just kind of coming together really beautifully. And in, in January I've, um, of 2017, I've registered for a workshop called the Landmark Forum, and then just all these individuals that are kind of associated with that organization and how it's how me being there kind of came together is, is really spectacular, but maybe I'll save that for um, the next video or whatnot. But um, yeah, it's been a really great year with a lot of ups and downs, more ups than downs, but that is how these things work. You know, just everything goes up, up and down. And when things are down, it's a really good opportunity to identify and clarify what it is I want. 
in those moments where what I don't want is right in front of my face and experiencing those things. And, and when things are going well, just an opportunity to be really thankful and grateful to experience this wonderful life and just be part of um, something really spectacular and to associate with like, like-minded like individuals that are really special and are building their own thing and creating their own thing and just kind of working together and um, building something together. So I'm really, really happy right now with uh, where my life is and the people that I'm associating with and just really thankful and grateful for all those moments that I've shared with all the individuals this year and um, hopefully with some of the people that I haven't spent as much time with, I'd like to spend more time with in the future with y'all and um, just share more ideas and yeah, and just continue moving forward. So um, if you've tuned into this episode, thank you very much. If you tuned into any of the previous epi- episodes, thank you very much. And um, yeah, just enjoy the new year and I will see you next year. All right, see you later. Take care and much love.